What up paint drops, it's me Graffiti here and I am back with a new tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually get your own custom gamepad HUD. So I'm not going to show you how to make a custom gamepad HUD, that's for another tutorial. But in this one I'm going to assume that you have downloaded your own so you could go to Google or take one off of Wraith or you have created your own in Photoshop or GIMP. So first I want to show you what a gamepad HUD is if you're kind of confused on what that is. It's this thing in the right hand corner. So I'm going to show you how to change this HUD right here to whatever you want. So this whole entire thing except for these numbers and the grenades are going to completely disappear off your screen. And if you want you can make it transparent or you can add your own custom HUD. So you can go to Google and you can search up a HUD. I have found a nice one right here and I'm just going to save that to my desktop. Now you're going to want to do a couple of things but before we start the rest of this I wanted to apologize that I haven't uploaded in three weeks. Um, I've had some health issues and I've been pretty busy so that's why I haven't uploaded but I'm going to try to upload more frequently for you guys. But other than that, let's get right back into this tutorial. So now that you have your own custom gamepad HUD that you have either created or taken off the internet, you're going to want to open up some sort of photo program, editing program. So for me, I'm doing Photoshop. So I'm going to run Photoshop now. Now that Photoshop is open, you notice that I actually have a custom gamepad HUD that I've created myself. Yeah, it's not that good. Um, it's, it's okay. It's mediocre. I need to work on it for sure. Um, but this is what I have for now, and this is what I'm going to use for my HUD. But I'm going to show you how to implement your own. So let's get right into it. So now that you have your HUD or have created your HUD, you're going to want to click file new and you're going to want to make a uh, image by 512 by 512 pixels and you just set it in right there for the pixels type that in make sure your settings are the same as mine click OK now you're gonna have a white background you're gonna want to double click on this background that's locked and click OK and that's gonna unlock it then you're gonna come down here in the right hand corner and you're gonna see a create a new layer so you're gonna create a new layer and you're gonna just click delete and you're gonna delete the white layer so you have a transparent so now that you have a transparent you're going to actually want to make a, a duplicate of this and make another file or you can actually just click file save as tiff make sure you set the format as a TIFF go to your Black Ops 3 roots folder and then go to your texture assets make a folder that you want to add your custom gamepad HUD or add it to a folder that you prefer make sure you remember it go to my textures and then you're going to want to save it as some sort of name so I'm gonna name it as TRS so right here I'm gonna save it and make sure you click save transparency right here under TIFF options you can use GIMP it's kind of the same method so click OK and there you go you have a transparent so why I did that is because later on you are going to actually have some stuff that you're going to want to completely get rid of to make it look good unless you are making your own custom gamepad HUD. So if you're just taking some image off of Google you might want to actually do this method that I'm showing right now but if you are going to go into depth and make like FX and uh, like D-pad animations for it which is quite simple um, it's just a red pixel and a blue. I'll show that in the next portion of my video in part two. But for this one, I'm just going to show you how to implement something super basic. So 
now that you have your transparent you're going to want to actually add your HUD so click file place and you're going to go to your desktop and you're going to place the image that you have found so remember that one before so here it is you're going to want to click control T and you're just going to want to scale it up and you're just going to want to fit the screen so right there like so that looks pretty good to me and then you just do the same thing file save as tiff and then name it whatever you want so call it like HUD and then make sure it's a tiff and then click save make sure you check save transparency but I'm going to use this one I have the same uh, pixel size 512 by 512 but this is one that I've created now what we're going to do is we're actually going to want to go down to my description and I will have some code pasted down there and this code is what you're going to put into your zone file so let's click edit zone file and if we go all the way to the bottom I have all of these images called UI and then it says d-pad base you have a bottom flash and then a bottom unavailable so what the bottom flash is that's when you flash that uh, when you click down on your d-pad it'll flash like a white light um, if you can use it and then bottom unavailable is like a red light so you can customize this and make these yourself and it's quite easy uh, but that will be for part two so make sure you paste all of this in here but you're actually only going to take three of these and put them into ape so yes you are going to open ape and you're going to need to make assets for these but the ones that we are going to add to ape will be the UIE d-pad base the d-pad base glow anim and the d-pad base reflect so now we're going to want to open up our asset manager I already have mine open you're going to want to click file new GDT and then create a GDT call it HUD or whatever and make sure you put it in your source data folder I have already done that and here it is it's called custom HUD so now you're going to want to right click on your GDT and click new asset and then you're going to go to image and then you are going to go to the zone and you're going to copy just the UIE all the way to the d-pad base so copy that make sure you don't copy the image comma and then you're going to paste that in to your new assets and save and click OK so now that you've clicked OK you're going to get something like this so you're going to make sure that you have all these settings 2D compressed texture average 1 1 and streamable then you're gonna click these three dots and you're gonna go to your texture assets folder and you're gonna locate the folder you put your gamepad HUD in so the d-pad base is your main like d-pad uh, HUD so I'm going to use the one that I've created so here it is click OK and there you go next you're going to want to right click make a new asset make sure it's an image again and then call it d-pad base glow anim and then do it again with d-pad base reflect now for these two remember the transparent image we made before this is where it comes in handy you're actually going to want to add the transparent image for this so we're going to go to your folder where you save that transparent image where it's just a transparent image you're gonna click on it and click open and that's going to save it right here in your texture just like you did with the HUD so now you're gonna do that for the glow anim and the reflect and now you're all done just click file and save and then you can compile link and run your map and test it out make sure after you have pasted all of this and click file and save now I'm just going to run my map and show you that it works 
Alright guys, so yeah, we're back in, and if you notice, I actually have my custom gamepad HUD right there in the corner that I have created. So if this worked for you guys, please leave a like and a sub, and if you have any questions or problems, please comment down below. In my next tutorial, hopefully, I'll be able to bring you these boxes. I have finally ported all of them over and have gotten most of the sounds working. Right now, we're working on all of the FX for you guys. So we have to actually script that, so it's actually taking some time. So I'm sorry that it's actually been so long after I told you so many times that I'm going to be releasing this. But soon, it will be... Uh, released to you guys so please be patient hopefully this week I can release this so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial so again please leave a like and a sub keep on mapping and peace peace guys